and get some of these steals, man. Get some of these steals, all right? Try and get rid of this stuff. YouTube, what's going on? Solution for the Solution Kicks. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and tap, smack, kick that notification button so you know when I'm dropping another one of these things. And you too could be a part of the Mighty Four Kicks Brigade. And we're still standing strong. We're still marching forward. We're still doing maneuvers. We do what we got to do out here. And I appreciate everyone who who's joined the uh, the channel since um the last video. It's been quite a few of you jumped on. I appreciate you. All right. Every subscriber is a march forward and people telling it like, hey, this, this old dude on here is talking sneakers from an OG perspective. That's pretty dope. All right. It's like my dad having a cool collection. That's a quote. <laughs> but hey, I do appreciate you for saying that. But what's today's topic? You saw the title. I am selling my collection, but not the way a lot of my fellow sneakerheads would say they're doing the entire collection isn't going anywhere all right some of the collection is going somewhere some all right that is exclusionary language everyone i didn't say all which is inclusionary language i said some are you listening or are you hearing it's a difference all right so how am i doing this if you look down below there's a link for makari and that's how I've been selling my sneakers. I was doing the eBay thing, but I got tired of paying the little monthly seller's fee. Even though I didn't sell anything, eBay was pocket checking me. So I've removed all those sneakers from there, and I'm only on Macari, and I've done rather well using that platform. So how have I done rather well? I've been fair. Always been fair. And the way I do this is the fact that I am not a reseller, all right? I am not a reseller. I've resold sneakers once, and I resold one sneaker, and that was a Jordan 1 Obsidian. Go back and watch that video, but I am not a reseller. I am just a dude that sells his sneakers after they fall out of favor with them because he's worn them. But maybe I haven't worn them yet, and I need to let them go. So that has been the problem. I was approaching a sneaker per day. That was never the goal. I was simply buying what I like, and there's nothing wrong with that, all right? Now, if you're a collector pure, it does not matter about the number. It matters about what you like and how you place the value on the shoe from a personal level. In that case, you could have thousands of pairs of sneakers. So be it. That's on you. But from my perspective, approaching that one shoe per day an entire year was a problem for me. Just perhaps my collection will be <laughs> these two racks right here. So how do I just how do I determine which sneakers I'm going to get rid of? One, I merely stopped wearing them. All right. I simply stopped wearing them. Or two, I bought the shoe and never got around to wearing them because I wanted them, then they just fell out of favor, along with the first part. They 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 just fall out of favor. The other part three is that I have to look at that shoe and say, hey, I haven't worn this in a long time. I don't want the shoe falling apart on me. The other part, too, is I have a few eight and a half. You see eight and a half there, eight and a half here. And I got a few other pairs in here as well. Cannot wear eight and a half in Jordan 1s, but I can wear 10. It's kind of odd, but it's just a toe box cut. And just to show you, I'm just not selling stuff that like, oh, man, he got trash on him. Jordan 4, retro bread. Yeah, sold them. Eight and a half, worn once. Had to let him go. Feet couldn't handle it. And that was my fault for getting the eight and a half because I drug my feet a little bit because the sneaker was available on my time. And y'all know me. I don't, I'm not the person that's going to be camping out, uh, you know, running around the city and stuff like that. I don't do that. I may go one to three places and that's it. I cut it off. I cut it off like that's ridiculous. For me, I'm not doing that. It's, it comes down to it's just a shoe. I'll be fine. And typically, I find the shoe later anyway. Shout out to Lucci. All right. But eight and a half Jordan 4 retro bread. Let it go for a good price. Didn't try to crack the dude over the head. Actually dropped it down a little bit lower for him because he was one of the first people on there. And he actually had to offer a couple people had inquiries. They did not put in a bid for the shoe. I was like, boom, here. There you have it. He got the shoe in three days. So what are some of the advantages of using Macari? Well, Macari, the advantage for me is I can either pay for shipping, which I don't, and here's why, because I offer you the shoe at a very reasonable 
and reasonably low price. So you pick up the shipping, which is no more than $10. Sometimes it might be $14.99, depending on where it's shipping to. All right. But I live in Texas, just to give you an idea. If you live in Maine or Wisconsin or, uh, you know, Olympia, Washington, now you notice I use like the furthest points from me, you know, Maine, Wisconsin, Washington State. See how I did that? That's why. Now, if you're going like Louisiana, it's going to be maybe $9.99. If it's going to Texas, it's going to be $4.99 a lot of times. Now, that's why. And I also pick up the uh, the seller's fee, obviously. You have to charge me for using the platform to basically promote my shoe. And you pick up the tax. So roughly $15 to $17 that you might absorb on the shoe. Not bad. Versus you buying the shoe somewhere else. And somebody, you, you're being charged $25 for that little box to ship out. Think about it, okay? Even priority with USPS. So, Mercari uses USPS sometimes, FedEx, or UPS. Now, the great thing for me is that I live extremely close to all three. If you contact me and put a bid in for that shoe, you tell me, hey, the solution for kicks, I want this shoe, ching ching, bid is in, the shoe is being shipped. If I'm home, chilling, don't have nothing to do, I get in my car and I drive a mere five minutes away to either one of those places. Five minutes from the USPS, the post office, FedEx, it was about three minutes. UPS stores another two minutes. So five minutes going out of the way. That's it. Your shoe goes off, you get the shipment confirmation. And that blows people away, which also builds my reputation. And typically that shoe is with you within the, the fastest I've seen is two days. But usually three to four days, depending on what's going on, because a truck comes in at 6 o'clock p.m., excuse me, 6.30 p.m., Monday through Friday, and that's when the stuff goes out. Once that truck gets scanned the stuff in, it says your shoe has been shipped, is on its way. So I do that. They also give you the sticker to say it was delivered, but the app does that for you as well once they scan the QR. That's the cool thing, too, I like about um, UPS. I don't have to print off the label anymore. I just get the barcode. They show they print it off and put it on there out of there so one of the questions i was asked hey the solution you have some sneakers that uh don't have boxes what do you do i do have replacement boxes for now but i'm running low on and once these are gone they're gone i'm not reordering anymore because it means all the shoes that don't have boxes or have been sold i'm not ordering these anymore the goal is to get rid of these all right so these were something that I had because I did not want drop fronts. And I think I got these off Amazon. It was like 20 for $19 or something like that. You know, so a dollar box. And these are semi-rigid. You see they're translucent. You kind of see through them. And this is what I had stacked up in my master bedroom with all my sneakers without boxes. Because I was tossing my boxes at one point. I wasn't holding on to them. So you will get this as a replacement box inside the cardboard shipping box that i put in and a lot of people have sent me um you know messages saying hey this was pretty dope that you gave me a box like this this is cool i'm going to keep the shoe in it so that's what i have to replace the missing shoe box because either i tossed the box a long time ago when i wasn't keeping my boxes or i went to the outlet and the box fell apart or whatever it wasn't worthy of shoving back inside that or shipping it with it and that's that all right now I used to bubble wrap some of the shoes because I had um, I had some cheaper shipping boxes and I just wasn't cool. I know people want their boxes intact, so I was bubble wrapping those boxes and putting them in there as well. But I got better boxes now. Shout out to Amazon. So what's for sale? I don't. I have one true beater that's going on in today, but currently this is probably the only sneaker I have on there that's in somewhat creased condition all right if you know air force ones you know you can fix that but these are the nick air force ones and it has a cool sole on it it's got the royal blue translucent sole with the orange trim but these are in great condition and this is why i didn't buy the nick threes which i'm kicking myself i should have gotten those anyway with the new york mets hat but yeah no heel drag all right no heel drag I wasn't going to sell off any of my um, 
Air Griffin Max Mix. I did sell my, it was like a deep infrared, kind of orange red, really bright. I sold those. A dude loved them, um, sent them in the box. He was one of the people that said, man, this box was dope. The replacement box, the replacement box that you put in it was dope. I was not expecting that. I was expecting some generic Nike box. But yeah, these Silver Surfer joints kind of looks like foil. Letting these go, size nine and a half. Check it out for Macari. Great price on them. Here's, an, here's another pair that I'm um, considering letting go. This is a very unique colorway. One of my favorites, but it's so unique, it's hard to match stuff with. That's the problem with it. And it's in great condition. I told you I don't beat up my sneakers like that. All right. So, what's the cool sneaker that's going up now for a great price? Like I told you, I, I just don't put stuff that's not in demand on there. there. There's a pair of Westbrook 1s. Jordan 1, Westbrook P's on there for a great price with the stock at suggested price and everything. So, right here, I have a unique Jordan 1 OG High. But they did some stuff to this, what I think which is why the sneaker kind of fell out of favor with some people. These are the bronze metallics. It was part of a pack, if I wasn't mistaken. But what they did was merge a mid. See the mid tongue? Jump man on the hill with the Jordan 1 high. This is actually a high. No, it isn't. See the box? Read the box. Yeah, retro high. Excuse me. I said OG. Retro high. Yeah. All right. So this is a sneaker that kind of fell out of favor with me. I think I wore this once or twice. And yeah, let me go. Got my my use out of them. I'm cool with it. I wasn't wearing the shoe. But make sure you go down there and check out that link. So you can see what's for sale on there. I actually have a very unique pair of Hirachis on there. Um, I was not going to sell this sneaker, but I haven't worn it in a long time. And it's on there for a fair price. Uh, I refuse to charge more for this shoe. I don't have the original box for it, but I just simply refuse to charge. Actually, I've dropped the price on it too. So if you buy that sneaker anytime between me waking up Monday through Friday, I will guarantee you that sneaker will be shipped to you by 6 p.m. You'll get a confirmation before 6 p.m. that the shoe is on its way to you. Anything after that, it gets done the next day. I get three days to ship it to you. If it's a Sunday, obviously I can't ship it. It goes out Monday. If it's a Saturday, closes at 3.30. I try to get the sneaker to you the Saturday. If not, it's going to be Monday. And that's only happened to me once because I live so close to the uh, shipping places. But I am a solution for the solution for kicks. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, tap the notification button so you too can be part of the Mighty Four Kicks for Game. And get some of these steals, man. Get some of these steals, all right? Try and get rid of this stuff. Some of it. Some of it, some of it, not all of it, some of it. All right, now, if you, let me back up for a second. If you see something up here that you're interested in, you've been following me, and you offer me a decent price, I might talk to you. I might talk to you about letting go something that's up here. I just might. I ain't hurt. But, hey, you make a buck, you make a buck. What am I here? Boom.